This is Cybert signing into Tiberian Dawn Remastered. In on the left side of the map, Eye of the Storm as the Red Nod. This is Plokite Wolf. Plokite Wolf. Plokite Wolf. I've never known how to pronounce that guy's name. And every time he makes fun of me a little bit for saying it wrong. On the right side as the Green also Nod. This is Lauren. All right. This is pre-whatever patch finally fixes the bit of jerkiness that is sometimes introduced in these replays. I seem to get it more in Tiberian Dawn than in Red Alert Remastered. And I have... Actually, this is my first proper replay in Tiberian Dawn. I've been uh, checking out... A little bit of a graphical glitch there. I've been checking out a good amount of Red Alert replays. But uh, I did want to check out some... Tibdon replays as well. So, you know, I'm sure there are lots of differences. I hear that Bike Buggy is very good, so I'm excited to see that. Uh, Hand of Nod and then Refinery for Wolfie Boy, and it looks like Refinery first for Lauren. And uh, you gotta love how the Refinery is just completely hidden under the map there, under the interface, rather. And uh, Single Rifleman does end up going down these guys, I believe, are playing with crates off and uh, shroud regrow. I believe, I believe, also off. Uh, I took a look at the settings and then I immediately forgot them. I didn't write them down. Airstrip up and running for Lauren. Same thing for Plokite Wolf. So, so very similar timings from both of these guys. And uh, no real aggression early on. I know I've been watching a handful of Bike Rush games, and he loves to use what units he can to try and kill power plants as quickly as he can in the early game. In this, in this case, a little bit of scouting coming out for Lauren. Going to be a second refinery there on a, kind of a little bit further south, but also a little bit closer to the Tiberium there, and we can assume similar sort of thing coming out from Mr. Wolfie. He's actually deciding to forego additional harvesters, just getting more tanks out of the gate. Going to be right into the comm center, get his radar up and running as well. And, uh, okay, so that is what uh, Master Leaf and I were talking about this. So unit spawns, if you're on the right side of the map, the plane comes in and drops off the unit basically immediately. If you're on the left side of the map, and even worse with where Wolfie has placed this airstrip, units spawn I mean, this, this airplane has to fly all the way over there. I'm not actually sure how much that affects time, but uh, we'll have to see if it plays a factor in this particular match. It's kind of funny that you can see your opponent's units coming in. And of course, I've been, uh, I've been enjoying a good bit of the... There's the, there's the plane just flying across his vision. I've been enjoying a good bit of the campaign. Haven't been playing it super much because I was out of town pretty much immediately. A lot of buggies going to be coming out for Mr. Wolfie. And uh, probably same thing for Lauren. Although, going for a couple of bikes. Going to be mixing those in. So we'll have to see if the bike rush actually does own. In this case, a couple of missile squads here as well. Rocket troopers, rather, here as well. And, uh... My gosh, as a kid, I never realized that that's what the attack bike actually looked like. But hey, that is what it, it that is what it looks like. This is kind of a three path map. It looks like a little bit of water in the south, but fairly inconsequential. Not actually a symmetrical map. I'm just kind of noticing how non-symmetrical this map is, which is a bit of a bit of a faux pas in design, even if it's like a three player map. But where, with playing just two players, you know, StarCraft sometimes will do that, have a three-player map with in, in a 1v1 ladder. And uh, you can get some somewhat asymmetrical spawns depending on, you know, air distance and that sort of thing. Lots of harvesters into the middle of the map for Lauren. Plakita Wolf and Lauren going to be clashing potentially up in the top left corner of the map. And uh, more in the top center corner of the map. This is going to be Bike Buggy versus Bike Buggy. A couple of tanks mixed in as well. Lauren's Rocket Infantry not a part of this particular battle. And uh, Placidia Wolf with the initial firepower advantage. I don't know that he'll actually be able to come out ahead in this battle, though. 
as uh, Lauren's reinforcements finally show up and start kicking some butt. Look at a wolf splitting his army up a little bit here, keeping some of his guys out of participation of this battle. And uh, Lauren may be barely going to be able to come out ahead, but I think, nope, Lukita Wolf is going to be able to swing it back. A couple of stealth tanks getting mixed in as well. And uh, I don't know if Lauren's shades for the stealth tanks will be a little more green colored, but uh, kind of just fading into the background there for Flokita Wolf. Although I guess they do show up as red on the minimap, so you've got that going for you. More bikes going to be coming out for Lauren. And uh, Wolf going to be hunting potentially some harvesters, potentially some power plants as uh, going for more and more stealth tanks. As you can see, two more mixed in onto the left side there. Going to be going right for this airstrip, trying to cut off the vehicle production for Lauren. And uh, more bikes going to be coming in here for Lauren, heading down south. And am able to actually hunt down. Oh, actually, maybe they will be able to hunt down the stealth tanks as they do reveal themselves a little bit there as they're crushing a couple of infantry. And uh, I'm guessing just more stealth tanks on the roll for Plokite Wolf. I'm going to say his name as many times as I possibly can, and uh, we'll just see which one actually is correct. Lauren feels like doing better on the economy front, although Plokite Wolf has uh, certainly picked that up as well. I think it's like three, maybe three harvesters for Wolfie, and then uh, four or so harvesters for Lauren. At least that's what it feels like. I haven't done a proper count. Maybe it's three for each player. No, it is four for Lauren. Trying to hunt these stealth tanks. It's a tricky deal as uh, Wolf going for a couple of harvesters, but uh, going to get overwhelmed by these bikes. Going to have to run away rather quickly. Going to once again go for the airstrip, and Obelisk is actually here to do what damage it can. The airstrip narrowly avoiding dying there as it does get repaired by Lauren. And for now, no real aggression from Lauren. Plokite just kind of able to hang out and put what pressure he can when he wants. Bikes moving through the middle of the map for Plokite. And uh, Wolf going to be moving in with a little bit of a pincer movement. Obelisk, of course, will deal with these bikes relatively easily, but they are able to get past that one. Oh, that poor, poor infantry does die there. Second stealth tank does go down. Additional power plant going up for Lore. Needs to rebuild his airstrip as quickly as possible so he can get some, well, vehicles. Although he could go for a big man spam transition. That can work even if it's just rifleman squad. Well, rifleman. Not rifleman squads. But even if it's just rifleman, you can get a good enough number of them that they will even take out tanks relatively quickly. Abel is narrowly not going to be able to get the kill on that on that tank as it does manage to escape. I think that's Wolfie's last tank in this game. As he does have a couple of stealth tanks roaming around the place, but uh, not a lot in terms of regular tank damage. Harvesters now going to be crisscrossing there, trying to deliver their Tiberium. And uh, Plokite slowly I guess he's not so much base crawling there isn't a whole lot to base crawl it's way down there is the is the Tiberium not a lot of base crawl from either of these guys I guess Lauren has a bit over to the left side here but uh not a huge amount once again these stealth tanks just running in and out obelisk gets dropped down for Lauren and uh Lauren is going to be able to at least for now, keep the stealth tanks away with that one obelisk. It could be forcing Plokite to uh, kind of come up here to the north side, potentially attack some power plants and weaken Lauren that way. More bikes going to be going out for Wolfie. He's going to be able to catch a harvester out in the open, completely undefended as Lauren does nothing to react to this. Is going to poke away at the infantry up there before finally turning around to deal with this harvester harassment. Uh, but perhaps the world's slowest harvester harassment. But, uh... Wow, the bikes in Tip Dawn are so much beefier than the ones in Kane's Wrath uh, slash CNC3. The, uh, they can actually take a couple of hits there, and, uh, you know, he's only at, like, 40% health instead of 0% health. As uh, Buggy going to be coming in for Plokite, and Lauren moving into the middle of the map with a bunch of rocket troopers, going to be able to defend his one harvester. 
Man, once you get into the middle map, it's like spitting distance to your opponent on some of these maps, how small they are. Wolfie feels like he gained a bit of an a bit of an advantage early on, but has been unable to capitalize on that. Has been unable to <laughs> those infantry just get crushed. Bloke not doing a good job of microing his rifleman squads up in the north. And uh Lauren never did rebuild that war factory, or the airstrip rather, as uh Lauren unable to get those of that vehicle production back online. Blokite will be able to dominate in the middle of the map and can potentially turn this into a big push. Of course, dealing with the obelisk will be a little bit difficult. It's going to take him a couple of seconds to knock that down, but if he brings all of his forces here, he might be able to just overwhelm it, maybe send in the riflemen first so they absorb a couple of shots before the bikes get there, and uh, even bringing the stealth tank in would be a good idea. Lauren, a little bit strapped for cash. Blokite just sitting at that, well, was it 700-something... Now a little bit, a uh, little bit more, up to a thousand dollars, but not spending it on anything. Could get himself, you know, start building some stealth tanks or even just more bike buggy to try and do something about Lauren's difficult to crack position. Going to be harvester hunting in the north. Lauren responding with a couple of rocket troopers. Obelisk gets a good shot off. These power plants could be potentially exposed as another harvester is getting hunted here by Wolfie. And he's going to be committing to the attack. He will be going for one power plant. Harvester is trying to be used for the crush, it looks like there. And for now, the infantry will be able to, again, if you get enough riflemen, squad, riflemen they actually do a lot of damage. There's a mass sell-off, and actually, that will pretty much do it for Lauren, who's got a huge swarm of infantry. Oh my gosh, Lauren is actually just going to be going for it with all of these riflemen. Wolfie is going to have to respond. He's got some buggies. He's got some riflemen of his own constantly producing them, it looks like. And he's going to be leading them into... Oh my gosh, Lauren is starting to overwhelm Wolf here with his massive numbers. The, the Harvester absorbing a lot of damage from Wolf. Oh my gosh. Lauren is actually able to do this as he captures the con yard of Wolf and now going to be going for the power plants. He's got so many riflemen, he can simply overwhelm Plokate Wolf. And I can't believe that he's able to claw back into this kind of a position. Wolf might barely be able to hang on with his production. He's got a superior number now. But oh my gosh, with 6,000 credits in his bank, Wolf. Or, uh, Lauren can actually produce units and Wolf can't. He's down to zero dollars. He just got a load of Tiberium, so he's going to be able to produce a couple of things here. A couple of rocket troopers are going to come out to try and deal with this buggy to break it down. Lauren going to be waiting until he's got two of them to take out that one buggy and just barely Wolf able to bring in enough income. He's got an engineer. He's going for the cap. He gets his con yard back and Lauren, surely this has to be it. An amazing, almost Almost comeback from Lauren. Oh my gosh, he gets another engineer. If he can produce one more engineer and grab back the hand of Nod, then he can actually stop Wolf from being able to get the con yard back. It's engineer versus engineer, and he's just going to be going for the cap and then the cap. Yeah, go for the hand of Nod. Go for the Plocadia Wolf. Forced to build his own engineer to recapture his own hand of Nod, and somehow the buggies have not been turned around and sent home. Lauren is now going to capture everything of Wolf one by one. He gets the refinery. Wolf is out of money. He can literally get no more money. He cannot build anything. As every single building gets captured by Lauren, I guess never give up, never surrender is what Lauren says. One power plant remains. Oh my gosh, and Wolf almost loses that last power plant to an engineer. There's a sell-off of the Hand of Nod in, a power, er, in the comm center as he's just going to bum-rush these buggies to go for the last couple of kills. Look at this, three rifleman squads able to take down the buggy like that. There's the sell-off of the con yard, and Lauren is just going to go for the kill. The stealth tank coming back for the MVP play as it gets gunned down by the rifleman squads. That's a Tib Harvester. Those are just harvesters up there, and I think Lauren has finally does it, done it. Oh my gosh, he gets it. Oh my gosh, Lauren wins that game with an engineer cap.
What started as a slow-paced, not very action-packed match has concluded in a fantastic fashion of hilarity. The plays were not tremendous, and yet the plays were legendary all the same. Cheers to Lauren as <laughs> Wolfie. He, he put up a good fight, but oh my gosh. Apparently, the pro-level strat is to get a bunch of buildings and then sell them off so that you instantly have, like, 10,000 credits and a hundred riflemen and then bum rush your opponent and you literally can overwhelm their tanks and their buggies and everything else they have. GG well played and that will do it for my first Tib Dawn match. Oh my. Thank you all very much for watching and this is Cyber signing out.